What's going on guys, Brandon here. Just wanted to give you your Macomb County, January 2019 real estate market update. We are back on the board. So let's hop right into this. I always preface this a couple different ways. One, we do the month previously because it's just like the jobs report. All the numbers are in, all the data's in. It's the first Thursday at the end of the month, just like the jobs report. It's first Friday after the end of the month. So that's how we do that because we have all the data. We give you three years of data because we want to see the trend. Numbers tell the story, as Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Chad always says. And numbers tell a story. The trend is your friend. You want to see a trend. If I just gave you this year's data, 2019, it wouldn't make any sense. You want to be able to see the trend. You want to be able to see the patterns. That way you can decipher it and, and we can do it together and you can make decisions based off of this that are going to benefit you and your family. So that's why we do that. Let's jump right into this. Macomb County market update, January 2019. Days on market, 54, 42, 47. This is a theme throughout all the counties here in Metro Detroit uh, going up. The days on market going up. So everything has been going down. Now we're going up a little bit. Market volatility, uh, asset bubbles, you know, blowing up. There's a lot of things going on. Interest rates rising. That's why I believe we are seeing this in all the things that the people I'm reading, uh, you know, Zero Hedge and all the different uh, publications that I read to inform myself. These are the things that are, are really kind of stemming this tide of, of homes entering the market. So this is something to keep an eye on going forward. Yeah, it definitely is. It'll be an interesting year, that's for sure, going forward and see what will happen. So um, the next one is active, active homes in the market. This is one day at a glance. So this is a day at the end of every month that we pick this data and we, at that time, you're seeing how many homes are active at that given day. So it gives you, you know, again, not the entire month, but it gives you at least at the end of every month what is going on, the number of active homes actually on the market. We had a big dip last year and then we had to go up again. That's why we're seeing more days in the market on average, but we had it back up to 2017 levels, which these levels were down, remember. So go back and you can see our 2016, 2015 videos when you're seeing this data and you're seeing these months it's way up here. So it's still down overall, but it's back to at least two years ago, which is, is good, a little more balance. And we're gonna see that in this next number, which is months of inventory, MOI. So this is at the rate homes are selling, how long would it take to sell every last home if no new homes came on the market? So we had one, one, back up to two. So we're, we're getting somewhere, right? So just to give you perspective, zero to three is a seller's market. Four to six or seven is balanced, and then seven plus is a buyer's market. So, if I can write. So, that gives you perspective as to where we are and how much of a seller's market it still is. It really, it truly is. So, uh, again, it's climbing though a little bit, which we haven't seen that. We have not seen that in a couple of years with, with a lot of these counties. So, it, it's very interesting times we're going through right now. And again, it's a time for everyone to pay attention, truly pay attention and, and make sure you know what's going on and stick around and stick with people who know what the heck is going on. That is the key. It's your real estate agent, it's your title people, it's you know your uh, insurance provider, it's your lender, making sure they all know the game, and know what's going on. Because if they don't know what's going on, you're gonna have a hard ride. It's just, that's all there is to it. And you're not gonna get the information that you need to make informed decisions. So. New homes in the market. This is the number of new homes that are listed in January. And again, we are back up to 2017 levels. It dropped down 2018 a, a ton, and we're back up to 2017 levels. Again, remember, this is still not great because we're still only at two months of inventory, but it's progress back up towards a balanced market. Uh, number, uh, price per square foot, 87, 93, 98. Again, increasing a little bit. We still have homes from the last couple of months that are closing, going under contract, and they're they're still uh, you know, the prices have been bid up. So even though there might be a little bit more homes, people are still in that mode a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out going forward. And again, remember, this is a rule of thumb, $98 per square foot for the entire county. That gives you an idea of where you're at. You still need an appraiser or a real estate agent to come out and assess your property if you want to value for your home. Zillow's not going to cut it. Homes.com is not going to cut it. Those are just algorithms. They're centralized algorithms. This is the average for the entire county. So again, just like a, a Zillow or something like that, they're gonna give you a ballpark of what you're at. Multiply this by your square footage and get where you're at approximately. You need someone to come out and do the actual analysis though if you want something accurate. Sold homes, 
This is really the only buyer stat. And this has gone down a little bit and it's continued to go down, which again is interesting. This is not like the other counties in Metro Detroit actually. Most of them have ticked up again a little bit. But this is a, a, a stat for how many homes have closed. So these are homes that have gone under contract. And the reason this might be is because there's less homes in, in November and December that were going under contract and, or that were available. So you're not gonna have as many closings in January. So again, maybe the buyer pool dipped a little bit in Macomb County. Maybe there's just not enough homes in the market, which is probably a little bit of both going on there. You, you know, again, percentage change wise, a little bit, you know, it's noteworthy. It's, it's somewhat significant, but not too, too drastic. Uh, you really see only drastic, drastic changes in the sold, the buyer's market and the sold there in that stat when you have something catastrophic like a depression or recession, something like that. So I hope you guys got something out of that. Again, we try to keep this under five minutes. That way you guys can get in, get out, get the information that you need. Uh, if you know someone in Macomb County, please share it, tag it with them. We'd love to uh, help as many people as we can. And uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the feed. That way we can help as many people as possible. We appreciate all the feedback we get. Uh, we just don't always get it on the feed, which uh, is fine. We just want to help as many people as possible in the feed here. So we appreciate your time and energy. It, it really is the most important thing in the world. So we appreciate it more than anything than you spending that time with us. And we will see you guys very soon.